Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture video. In this video, we are going to see what are conjunctions. Okay, what are conjunctions? Con conjunctions are called connectors. Conjunctions are otherwise called as connectors. Conjunctions can connect a group of words or conjunctions can connect words, classes and phrases uh, in order to make a complete meaning of the sentence. Okay, there are three types of conjunctions. They are coordinating conjunction, correlative conjunction and subordinating conjunction. What is this coordinating conjunction? Coordinating conjunctions is nothing but the job of a coordinating conjunction is to join two words or phrases or independent classes. The job of a coordinating conjunction is to join two words or phrases or two independent classes. There are seven coordinating conjunctions which are uh, in, in an acronym, acronym, they are called as fanboy concepts, okay, and, but, for, nor, so, et, okay, and is used to, uh, and is used to add something further, take, for example, Rom and Sila, uh, I saw the movie and I went to uh, uh, my grandma's house and you can just add on, add on, if you use and and then you use but in order to connect a negative and a positive sentence sorry positive and a negative sentence take for example i like chocolates but i don't eat chocolates every day i like my mom uh, but i don't like her when she scolds me okay next one for for is used uh, in a rare occasion in the sense because for I am hungry, I ate lunch. It is a rare usage in Indian context. And then nor. Nor is used with um, nor is uh, used to combine a negative sentence and a positive sentence. Take for in a negative sense. Take for example, I don't uh, go to school nor to the college. I can't step out of the house in this lockdown, nor I can stay inside the house. Okay. And then or, or is used to connect two words. Okay. They are, um, I want either, I want a pizza or burger. So is used to connect uh, a reason and an action. Take for example, I am hungry, so I want to have something. I'm hungry, so I want to have something. Yet is used to connect a negative sentence and a positive sentence. Okay. Take for example, I don't like chocolates, but I eat them every day. Next one. So here are some of the examples. We went to the stadium and enjoy the cricket match. Okay. Uh, do you want an ice cream or chocolate? Ice cream or chocolate? Or connects ice cream or chocolate? I'm so, I'm tired, so I will take some rest. Reason and action. She didn't eat the chocolate. Negative sentence, nor gave it to anyone. Positive, another positive sentence, okay? It is connected by nor. I want some coffee, but I don't have time. Positive, negative. Okay, what is a positive sentence if you don't have not in a sentence that is positive? I don't have time yet. I'll have some coffee. A negative sentence and a positive sentence. It connects a negative sentence and a positive sentence. Correlative conjunction. What is this correlative conjunction? A correlative conjunction cannot stand alone. They always go together. Okay. A correlative conjunction. They always go together. They are not only but also either or, neither nor, uh, whether or. Okay. So take for example, not only... Uh, he is not only a brilliant person but also handsome. He is not only hardworking but also a, help, a helping minded person. Either or. I either want to eat apple or banana. It can, it connects here either or connects two nouns. Okay, it can also connect two sentences. Take for example, I either want to watch movie, one sentence or I want to go to play. Okay. Next one, neither nor. Neither nor also can connect two uh, nouns or two words. Take for example, I neither want banana or apple to eat. Okay, here neither nor connects two nouns. Okay, uh, 
uh, two nouns can be connected by neither nor or it can connect to two sentences as i told you i neither want to watch movie nor i want to play okay uh, and then uh, both and both and used to connect uh, two nouns take for example both rom and color went to the party i want both apple and banana okay and then whether or whether or connects uh, two sentences or two words take for example please tell me whether you want it or not okay so uh, here are some of the examples neither alex nor robin can play basketball baseball i want both ice cream and chocolate okay next one comes next comes subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction is nothing but uh, subordinating conjunctions join to uh, independent clause and a dependent clause okay what is this class okay a dependent class uh, is partial in meaning an independent class an independent class is uh, gives complete meaning um, uh, take for example though she is sick okay is the meaning complete no it is not complete complete so in this uh, here uh, the sentence hangs apart so here it is uh, called uh, incomplete sentence so it is called dependent clause because it depends on another sentence in order to get a full meaning she has come to the class it is a complete meaning it a complete sentence okay though c6 is a class this class subclass depends on the main class in order to get a complete meaning so this is called the first part is called subordinating class or independent class the next one is called independent class okay this is why it is called sub the uh, conjunctions which connect these two sentences is called subordinating conjunction okay though although even though however okay these are called subordinating conjunction these uh, conjunctions can be used in between or uh, in the middle or at the end take for example though she is sick she has come to the class she has come to the class though she is sick she has come to the class she is sick though okay and then so as to so that in order to so as to so that in order to connects a reach action and goal in order to win the match this is the goal first part goal we took several practice okay several practices uh, in order to win the match we took several practices we took several practices so that we win the match okay uh, so as to win the match we took several practices as much as as long as okay he likes ma, uh, ma, hockey as much as equally um, he likes basketball okay he likes uh, hockey as much as he likes basketball as long as is equal to till as long as my, my, my mom stays with me i will stay here unless unless you work hard you cannot win the match okay unless you work hard unless is used to connect positive sentence and a negative sentence sentence until until you work hard no one can defeat you okay until you uh, complete this you cannot go until also uh, combines a positive and a negative sentence still still is used in the sense of though is equal to though it connects two contrast sentences take for example they are rich still they want to earn more if you are rich you don't need to earn more but it con con connects to contrast meanings as if is equal to pretend she feels sorry as if she has failed in the exam okay uh, while when as they're all equal okay while i went inside she was cooking when she when i went inside she was cooking okay as since because okay as i am hungry i want to have some coffee because i am hungry i want to have some coffee so it connects action and reason act as i am hungry reason action i want to have some coffee provided that on that condition okay i will fulfill my words provided that you follow my instructions okay and then whoever whomever wherever they are used uh, in simple present tense most of the times they are used in simple present tense so thank you for watching the video uh, i'll meet you in the next lecture video thank you for watching